Hi, my name's Jan. I've been teaching Pilates since 2007. I'm going to show you a few exercises today that have been designed to be done separately, or if you feel able, then you can do them all together in a small sequence. First way, we're going to start with our breathing. So we're going to pop our hands onto our rib cage, and we're going to take a breath in. As we breathe in, we might notice the rib cage expanding. We're going to take a breath out. As we breathe out, we might notice the rib cage softening down. Equally, we're going to pop our hands on our belly. As we breathe in, we might notice our belly expanding. And as we breathe out, we might notice our belly softening and perhaps a very gentle engagement of the navel drawing back towards the spine. So we're going to use that breathing throughout our exercises today, and that will help us with our movement, but also our stability. So the first exercise is a roll down. We're gonna stand tall with our feet hip width apart. Just take a nice breath in. As we breathe out, we're gonna nod the chin to chest, slightly soften the knees, and roll down to the floor. It doesn't matter how far you get, the main point is that you're moving your spine. We're gonna take a breath in. And as we breathe out, we're going to gently engage our belly and then roll back up bone by bone by bone, restacking the spine, getting tall at the end of the movement. We're going to do that twice more, nodding the chin to chest, gently drawing in the belly, slight softness in the knees, rolling down towards the floor. Have a sense of drawing your nose towards your knees. Your arms are nice and relaxed. Gently engage the belly as we roll up, bone by bone by bone. We'll do that one more time, but on this one, we'll then come to four-point kneeling. So we're going to nod the chin to chest, rolling down, softness in the knees, bone by bone by bone. You might feel a nice stretch up the back of the legs here. And then from here, bend your knees, and you're going to walk forward to come to a four-point kneeling position. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Knees are underneath your hips. You want to think of your collarbones being nice and wide and the shoulder blades connected into the back of the rib cage. From here, we're going to slide one leg away. Foot is softly pointed. We're going to squeeze the leg up towards the ceiling. You might feel some connection, some work going on in the back of the leg and in the glute muscles. Using that connection of the belly, and the slight softness of the rib cage, we're going to bring the leg back in. Breathing naturally, we're going to do the other side. Breathe in to lengthen, out to hold, and on the next out breath, bring the leg back in with control. We'll just do one more on each side. Slide the leg away, lift, squeeze up towards the ceiling, feel the work happening in the back of the legs and in the glutes and bring the leg back to center. Make sure the back of your head is pressing up towards the ceiling and the collarbones stay nice and wide in the spine. Use the breath, coming back to center. From here, we're just gonna roll around to, to a seated position. Sitting tall, you can do this sitting on a chair if preferable. Sitting tall on your sit bones. Think of lengthening the spine towards the sky. Hands either side of the knees, collarbones nice and wide, nice and relaxed in the shoulders. From here, we're going to float one arm up towards the ceiling. And from here, keeping the fingertips pointed and the arm long, we're going to stretch over to one side. You can bring your opposite hand onto the floor or onto the chair to help keep you stable. You want to feel just a nice stretch through the waist, up through the arms, all the way into the fingertips. And we'll come back to center and we'll do the other side. So we'll reach the arm up, up and over. Keep the arm nice and long. The fingertips lengthening towards the ceiling. Opposite sit bone stays very connected to the floor. Lovely out breath to come back to center. And again, in breath to lift the arm. Out breath to stretch to the side. Use another deep out breath to see if you can get even more from the stretch. Back to center, one more, reach the arm up, point to the ceiling, reaching over, 
Use the out breath to enhance the stretch. And then everything comes back to center. From here, we're just going to float onto the floor. So we're just going to come down onto the floor. Legs are going to be together. You can use your elbows to stabilize you as you roll down onto the floor. Arms are going to be wide, palms facing down if that is comfortable. Equally, palms can be facing up if it's not. Again, think about your breathing and that softness of the rib cage and that gentle drawing in of the belly towards the spine. So we're going to take a deep breath in. No, we're not. We're going to take a breath in to prepare. And on the out breath, we're going to float the legs over to one side. Hold. Just notice that you might be feeling a stretch, maybe somewhere in the mid back. You only go as far as you can go while keeping the opposite arm, the opposite shoulder firmly connected to the floor. Next out breath, gentle engagement of the belly, softening of the ribs as you bring the legs back to center. In breath to prepare, out breath to float the legs over to one side. Use the breath now, that soft feeling in the belly, belly um, rib cage drawing down and soft and everything comes back to center. One more to each side, floating the legs over, gentle engagement of the belly, a softening in the ribs as you pull the legs back. The last one, floating the legs over, only as far as you can go while the opposite shoulder blade is connected to the floor. And then draw the legs back on the next out breath. From here, we're going to come and lie on our front. So I'm just going to roll up to seated just to make that easier to do. And then we're going to roll onto our fronts. You're going to be turned onto one cheek for ease of breathing. And we'll take the toes together, but the heels will be apart. And just relax the shoulders down. You're going to draw the legs together. Feel a connection in the inner thighs and a length through the legs. You're going to turn the head. The nose will be hovering off the floor. Roll the shoulders onto your spine now. And as you breathe out, you're going to peel up into a long lengthened position. Toes lengthening away from the crown of the head. Make sure you roll your shoulders onto your spine and don't forget to breathe here. On the next out breath, rolling down, the heels come apart, the cheek comes back onto the floor. Shoulders relax. So we'll take an in breath to prepare and lengthen. An out breath to turn the head, bring the palms to face the trouser seams, lengthen your crown of head away from your feet. Shoulders roll onto your back. Keep looking down. You don't want to tip your head back or forward here. You want your neck to be nice and long. And then we'll roll everything back to the start position. We'll do one more. In breath to prepare and lengthen. Out breath to roll the shoulders onto the back, but keep breathing. Lengthen your fingertips towards your trouser seams. Crown of head lengthens away from your feet, creating length through the spine, through the vertebrae. And then peeling down, back to the start position. And then we'll just pop our hands underneath our shoulders to press ourselves up to kneeling. And well done. <laughs>